I'm Andrew Grant, um, welcome to Melbourne Barra. Um, we're a 50 tonne Barramundi farm. I'm many hats, you know, director, um, employee, driver, you name it. Um, I've started it from scratch. We had nothing here. It's just a flat paddock. We've had to put in fences, infrastructure, three-phase power, water, everything. So it's been a journey. Uh, 2001, I bought the property. We have seven, nine different species here. Barramundi, Murray Cod, Abalone, Lobsters, and the crabs, they're all basic staples in the live seafood um, industry. Our customers absolutely dictate what we, we provide here. The barramundi was the first thing we provided, and it's all about the barramundi farm here. But we supply other species because the customers want it. They want a one-stop shop, so rather than bringing several different suppliers for several different um, species, we provide those other species for them. I get a lot of personal joy from producing a premium product and getting it into the restaurants and getting feedback from their customers on you know, how wonderful the, and fresh you know, the product is. And um, it's an experience that not many people get to enjoy these days. You know, most of our products are frozen, thawed. You know, so to go from literally swimming that morning to on your plate in the afternoon uh, and the freshness cannot be beat. You know, it's just such a unique flavour and taste. Most of my customers are price driven and if I can offer them a cost effective product and it just so happens to be clean and green, then why not do it? You know, it, it just makes a lot of sense to me. I'm very keen to sort of leave the land better than we found it. Obviously having you know, a young daughter and, and so forth, I, I also want to do something for the planet you know, as such, so as part of the process here I've also you know, put up native vegetation, trying to do some carbon capture. You know, we've got some, some fantastic native trees around the place. Uh, but to follow that through, you know, I, I really had to cut back on energy costs. And I had a number of companies approach me, but you guys were actually concerned about the business and working with the business and asking me the questions about how can you complement and, and work within the business. And so one of the biggest things here is that we're 24 seven operation and you guys were more than willing to work in with our hours and, and, and not upset the process of, of growing the fish. You know, the fish didn't miss a beat. It was great. You guys met the cost, the best price I had, um, but it wasn't just about the cost, it was about the service as well. Power is absolutely essential to the business. I, I cannot lose it for more than 20 minutes without you know, devastating results. We're a remote sort of site here and we get a lot of uh, hoons coming down, hitting power poles and uh, even uh, stealing cars and seeing them on fire next to the power poles. So we do have a lot of outages, you know, and they can, they can be for three, four, you know, even five, six days. Uh, so the generator we rely on quite heavily. We only have a 20 minute window here um, with losing the power, otherwise the fish will all suffocate and uh, we lose a lot. And, yeah, no, once I, I saw the installation working and um, I was very impressed with the layout, the way it was put in, the efficiency in which it was done, um, the minimal impact on the business, it was all great. And then when I saw that thing humming away and realised my bill was coming down, what's not to like? <laughs>